welcome to the bee yard again. Uh, today, out here, we're, we're gonna go through the hives. We're gonna uh, make sure that the bees have enough food stores for winter. We're gonna take them, we're gonna measure the hives after we go through and do our inspections. We will measure the hives. Weight why? If for weight, we want our, our bigger colonies to weigh up around 150 or better in weight, 150 pounds in weight. Uh, the smaller hives, we're kind of doing some experiments with uh, single box, uh, brood boxes over wintering. We're not quite sure of the weight. I think 60, 60 pounds, 60 to 80 pounds is I think the ideal weight for them. So we do have honey supers on them because when we, when we reduce these hives down, we were kind of going through a dearth and we're actually into a dearth right now. So we made sure to leave a box of honey just so that they had something um, for the time being. So uh, we'll get into it here and we'll show you what we're seeing. Just reassembled the hive. Uh, queen was seen. We have five frames of brood in here, uh, open brood and cat brood. So she's still brooding. Queen was seen. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to we've weighed this hive without the honey supers on. We left uh, two boxes of honey supers on of uh, two boxes of mediums on because uh, they had some brood in there. So we did not harvest that honey. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put one box back on because this hive without the honey boxes weighed 130 pounds, 135 pounds. We like our hives to weigh right around that 160 is what we like to see. So we're gonna take and we're gonna put one honey super on and that should bump their weight up to right where we wanna see them. Come on ladies, get in there. Okay. I want to pull up the empty frames. On this one? Yep. Okay. That one was lighter for this some the reason. The empty one? This one? Kind of empty? Okay. Now we'll pull some empty frames and we'll put uh, our capped frames, our cap, some capped honey back in from this other uh, box because we had two boxes on there. So there's a fairly well capped frame of honey. I'm gonna put that right into the hive. I'll let you get that other one out first. How many four ones are there? Uh, like two, maybe three. Right, so this quality is going to kind of stink a little because I had to switch to my phone camera. But here's this hive that we put together, or that we that we just went through. The bottom box is does not have a lot of uh, brood or honey stores. Uh, matter of fact, it's just honey stores maybe in the pockets here and towards the outside. The inner frames really don't have a whole lot. 
This here has brood on five frames. We got good honey stores towards the outside and, and also in the middle of surrounding that brood nest. Uh, this one here is pretty much all honey. And this one here is all honey. We went through and we took out the empty frames and took from the second box that we had on top and put the full frames down in here. This hive is up to weight. This hive is going to weigh about 165, 170 pounds. That's exactly what we want. Our bottom brood boxes are fairly empty, so we are just basically leaving them there as spacers. So we, we are overwintering. Our plan is to overwinter on these three boxes right here. This is going to be where the honey store is and whatnot. So uh, we thought about taking these boxes out, but actually I want to leave them in because uh, they're going to give us a buffer between the entrance of the hive here, you know, the entrance of the hive, it'll give us a little bit of a bump buffer zone for that cold air and other stuff coming in and keep that warmer air up in, in this area where that cluster is gonna be. So this is how we're gonna, this is what we're gonna do over winter on. Uh, our other hives, we're gonna have to feed up a little cause they're not weighing up yet. Um, the hive right next to it is a little short. We're gonna have to feed that one up and probably uh, several of the other ones. This is probably the best hive that we got though for weight and as far as honey stores going into winter. So uh, we got a couple other ones that are, are decent, but they're all probably gonna have to take a little feed. We're still gonna drizzle the feed into these things because we do not want them over the next month, over uh, September here and the end of September into October, we don't want them eating into these reserves. We want them uh, feeding on that sugar syrup so that they have these reserves going into winter. We don't want them to, to just eat them out. And, and that's what we think is going on down here because uh, these boxes down here had more honey in them two or three weeks ago when we went through and put our treatments in. They had a lot more honey down in these bottom boxes and, and they're starting to eat the stores that were down here. So that's what we're seeing anyways this time around. Uh, and... We'll wrap the hives with uh, tar paper. Uh, we're, we usually, we try to wait until the weather, weather turns to that point where it's cold and the bees are not flying anymore. Then we'll put the wraps on. So uh, last year, I think we were into November before we did that. So and typically that's, that's about right. So uh, that's what we're doing for preparation of, uh, for preparing for uh, overwintering. And uh, thank you watching.